In this tutorial, we will learn how to fill color in an object and add gradient to it. Applying color or gradient filling can enhance the outlook of your image in Adobe Illustrator. To use these tools, make sure you have a vector image, one that you made yourself or a template that you might have downloaded. Here we have a circle made from the shape tool. When you click on this image, you can see various anchor points. These show that this circle is a vector image, which allows you to use the color and gradient tool. Go to the color box on the bottom of your toolbar, which is present on the left-hand side of the screen. Select the color option, double-click on the color box, and choose the color for your fill. Since the circle is a single object, it will get completely filled with your desired color. You can now add gradient to the circle as well. To add gradient to the illustration, select the Gradient tool and click on the object you wish to fill. First, let us add a grayscale gradient. Now we can change the color of the gradient. You will see that a scale will emerge through which you can adjust your gradient settings. These settings can also be adjusted from the right-hand side. Click on the Gradient tab and you can adjust the settings from the bar by moving the sliders. You can play with the tone of the illustration according to your requirement. Move around the gradient slider to see where in the image you want to adjust the tone. You can even rotate the gradient bar and the gradient will rotate itself. In the gradient panel on the right, you can even choose the type of gradients you want. There are four options you can choose from. You can also select if you want a linear or radial gradient. Now, press Undo if you wish to bring the gradient back as it originally was. To make this panel from grayscale to color, click on the gradient slider as shown. Press the drop-down arrows and select the color scale that you want. Over here, we will work with CMYK. Now choose the color that you want. A 3D effect can also be given to make the circle look like a sphere. To do this, double-click on the gradient slider on the extreme right and choose a darker shade for its color. Then add another slider by clicking on the bar. Choose a lighter tint for this slider in the same color family. Keep the slider on the left white. You can add as many sliders with different colors as you want. 